hello again. It's Amy with Just a Little Ink here to share with you another fun and quick fun fold card. I saw a card on Patty Bennett's website. Um, I'll show the link to her card um, on my blog as well as all of the measurements today. And I came up with this, which is a much more simplified version. She did some other stamping on this panel here. Um, but it's kind of neat because it opens up um, hinging in the center and it uses a lot less paper and I thought what a great way to use some designer series paper. And so I came up with this card. I'm going to show you how to make it today. Um, this one uses the Dino Roar designer series paper which happens to be retiring and it happens to be on discount right now for only $6.90 which is a great price. But a fun little card um, for a kid and I thought what a great way to go and I'm going to use the Itty Bitty Birthdays stamp set to go with it. And so let's begin. Like I said all of these measurements are going to be on my blog um, justalittleink.com. So you need a quarter sheet of cardstock this four and a quarter by five and a half. You also need out of the same paper you need a piece that's cut two and a half inches by 11 inches. My measurements are a little bit bigger for this than what Patty Bennett used. For the inside, because you need something that you're going to write on, out of Whisper White, you need a piece that's two and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And you also need a scrap for the tag that's going to go on the front. From the designer series paper, I chose two different pieces. You certainly could use the same piece and use the opposite on the flip. I cut one piece at three inches by five and a quarter inches. That's this piece here. And then I cut it in half. And then I cut another piece at two and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. And because mine happened to be a paper sample, I had um, mine were cut at six inches. And so the little piece that's left over is um, just a little bit over. This is what a three quarters inch piece. And I thought it looked great on the inside. So let's begin. It's amazing how fast this is going to go. So these two pieces, again, this was the three inch piece that I cut in half. I'm going to put adhesive on the back side. And I'm going to attach it, kind of splitting the difference. It was a great way to use up just parts of it, of this paper. And I can imagine all kinds of variations just using designer series paper. And I'm going to attach the other half. And splitting the difference. So there's going to be this little gap, but you're never going to see it. Line up my paper. And I've used Pretty Peacock. It's one of the coordinating papers in this designer series stack. So then I scored it in half at five and a half inches. I'm going to use my bone folder because I like a nice crisp edge. I'm going to fold that in half. And then this piece gets attached to the front and in the center of my card base. I'm just going to line it up. Feel where the top is. Press it down. And then it'll open this way. Then I'm going to take my piece of designer series paper. I really like these cute dinosaurs. I think a little boy or a little girl, depending on what colors you use, would love this. I'm just going to center it on the front. Like so. I'm going to set it aside. And then I'm going to take my scrap piece. I'm going to use my Pretty Peacock ink. And I chose from the Itty Bitty Birthday stamp, the it, they say it's your birthday image. 
I'm going to stamp it in the center. And then I'm going to use the tailored tag punch to punch it out. I'm also going to use for the inside the It's Sure to Be a Fun Day and just stick it oh, in the upper portion. Gives me a little space to write. This piece is going to go on the inside of my card. Open it up. And then to give a little interest on the inside, I'm just put a little adhesive on this little scrap. And I'm going to put it at the base. Hold that. And then this piece, I used some mini dimensionals. I don't need them all the way across. So just a couple, maybe about three of them. And depending on what lines up, I think for this one, I'm going to put it lower. I don't want to cover up my dinosaur faces. Come across. Like so. You could put some embellishments on, but super simple, very quick and lots of great ideas. If you do some, um, I'd love to see your samples and so you can share them on my blog. Great, have a great day and happy stamping.